everyone, I'm Kat with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library and welcome to today's video. Today, we will be diving into the wonderful world of watercolors. Watercolor painting is a fantastic way to let your creative ideas flow and relax your mind after a long day or week. To go along with our summer reading program theme this year, Oceans of Possibilities, we will be painting creatures from the ocean deep with the help from one of the many books we carry, Watercolor With Me in the Ocean by Dana Fox. Let's get started. Here's what we'll need. Now that my workstation is all set up, and I've traced out my sea creature and I have everything in a comfortable position, it's time to get started. To start the wet on wet technique, I'll wet my brush with clean water and apply it to the inside of the starfish, like such. Then, I will wet my brush again and begin dropping the color into the shape. Wet on wet simply means wet paint is applied to wet paper and will create a more fluid version of Mr. Starfish than what we would see with a wet on dry application. It also allows you to blend color like this. Now that my beautiful orange and pink are pretty much all blended, we're going to let this sit to dry for a little bit and then start adding in these crimson dots. The wet on dry technique is as simple as it sounds. Dry paper and a wet brush. This tends to be a little easier to control and you also get more saturation in your color from your paint than you would with the wet on wet technique, like such. So like before, I'm just filling in the tops of the jellyfish with this yellow color, letting it dry, and then going in with this mustard as my outline. And sometimes you'll need to play with the consistency of your paint. It's not always going to be perfect, but that's the beauty of watercolor. Just going to continue working with this mustard color until I'm happy and I'm going to add a little bit of shading, diluting my color a little bit as I go. Now 
Next, I'll just be filling in that central mass tentacle that most jellyfish have with these confetti-like strokes. I'll be going in with the original yellow, this really pretty blue, as well as the rose that we used in the starfish earlier. And lastly, I'll take that rose again and start drawing in the tentacles. And there you have it. Your artistic journey into watercolors has finally begun. Please remember me when you're famous. To get more inspiration or challenge your skills, you can check out books like this one at your local library. Be on the lookout for more fun videos and exciting in-person programs by visiting our website at calcashoelibrary.org. Have a fantastic day and an even more fantastic rest of your summer. Goodbye.